Hello everybody, welcome back. Founder here. And yeah, today I have a very nice lock for you from Asa. It is the infamous Asa 700, a seven pin lock. And I got this from the greenish one the other day in a package. Um, and yeah, I'm super happy that I could pick it already off camera. And what I'm more proud about actually is that I didn't need to progressively pin it. And this is, yeah, to me this is amazing, but also you have to keep in mind I already picked one ASA 700 the other day, so I knew what I was dealing with in basic. I mean, this behaves differently, and when I got this I was overwhelmed with the complexity of the lock, and yeah, I needed to progressive, progressively pin it, so I just inserted some pins at a time until I had it figured out how to pick this one. And with this one, I just poked around in it and yeah, it behaved super nicely and I could figure out how to tackle this one. So again, I will use two tensioners to flow pick it and I'll just use one steep hook because the keyway is very wide open. So you can reach the pins very nicely and pick them with less um, drag on the warding or so. Mm. So I just poked around in it and tried to figure out how to get into the milling. This is your first step when picking these SR locks or with, with gins and Christmas tree drivers. And I was not sure what driver is where or so because I have never seen the inside so yet. So hopefully we will see it later. And I only knew um, from what Greenish told me in a comment in another video that there should be like two gin drivers and two Christmas tree drivers in here. So the remaining three drivers would be um, tapered drivers. And what I think is that the tapers are in, in three, five and seven, I think. Not sure though, we will see. But my battle plan for this would be, yeah, <laughs> these are the tools I will be using. And this is uh, the binding order of the pins to get into the milling. In the end, you have to play a bit ping pong between three, five, and seven. And once you're in the milling, um, the binding order is rather strict. As I feel it with, with the gins and Christmas trees. And I have to pick one, two, then six, and then four, and hopefully the lock will open. So yeah, that's the battle plan. Um, let's put, clean this all up, put it in a vise, and hopefully I can pick it. See you back in a second. So here we are back in the vise. Let's put the tensioners in. So just... One goes here and the other goes here. And that gives me perfect core control. And yeah, let's use this steep profile here and start picking. Two. Oh yeah, one, two, three, nothing four, nothing on five, nothing on six, seven. Good click, one, two, small click on three, five is binding, six, one, two, three, small click on four, five, Six, small click on six, seven, good click on three, good click on seven, five.
So in this phase of the picking, yeah, you just go back and forth between the tapers. And I think strong tension helps here. So I just felt a tiny core movement and yeah, there we go. So now we're in the milling. That means now float picking of the gins. So let's start with one. Okay, maybe you saw it going down. Two. One is back up. So just one again. Two. But one is back up. Okay, now one and two are happy. Three, four, five. Let's go to six here. Okay, six is good. But I heard something drop and I think it's two. Let's try to set it again. Okay, just set two, but we can't get back in the fourth set, so let's try if maybe six needs a nudge. Where is six? Seven. Yeah, so six just pushed back down and that's happy now. But two is back up. Oh, come on. Again, same game. Okay. One and two are happy. So hopefully just four left. Yeah. Nice. Okay. That was very good, very quick for an SR700. Okay, just quickly fast forward this boring part and yeah, now let's have a look at the drivers. So in one we have a nice gin. And let's get the spring out as well. And two is another gin. I hope you saw the orientation. Three. We have a standard or tapered driver. Ah, nice. Here you see the first Christmas tree pin in four. Yeah, so three was the tapered as I expected. And I was hoping for. So in five should also be a tapered, maybe. And six should be a gin, uh, to Christmas tree, maybe. Yes. Just like that. 
Oh, sorry. Six already popped, uh, seven already popped out. And it's a tapered driver. So let me get the springs. Okay, and yeah, let's check the effectiveness. So, even though the key pins in one and two look rather long, you still are below the milling. And let me put in the drivers quickly. So the interesting drivers sit all like this. Huh? And yeah, so these won't bind in the beginning and these you just have to tap in the beginning because they're in a the thick part. And these would behave first like a spool. And I think I preset them already during, um, during setting the tapered before we are in the milling. So let me quickly grab the key pins. And then we will have a closer look on the milling. Okay, just fast forward it again here through taking out the key pins, not so interesting. But what's interesting is the milling and you can see some milling in one, two, four and five, which matches the, yeah. So this is nice milling it's for gins. Also on the same other side, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that matches the drivers. Let's have a look at the whole picture. The key pins are nice torpedo pins in most of the cases. And yeah, in one and in two, we have gin drivers. And in three and in six, uh, in four and in six, we have these Christmas tree drivers, which are yeah, really amazing. I mean, look at them, really nice. And if you look closely on the torpedo pins, you see that they're angled. Like, I mean, the, the part here towards the shear line is always a bit angled so that you easily overset them. So yeah really nice pins in this ss700 greenish thank you very much again for sending me this and i will just put it back together now and yeah send it back to you hopefully soon <laughs>
Bye.